Hi, my name's Marilyn. I'm the creator of card readings. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a topic for you. How do you know someone's fake or very psychic? Um, the reason I put this out there, um, I've been hearing a lot about fake and very psychic. But one typical thing I read, watch on YouTube last week, and I thought I'm going to pass this on to you and see what you think. It's about a lady who thinks she's, well, say she's psychic. I don't know if she's or not. I, don't, I haven't met her. And a guy who thinks everyone's a fake psychic. Um, and there's two hosts. It's a female and male host. Um, the male, no, the female psychic goes, to, I mean, the female host goes to the, the guy who thinks everyone's a fake. Because how do you know? Now really, how do you know someone's, how do you know if people are fake? And he goes, well, they're reading people's body language, and they're looking what they're wearing, um, the, yeah, and they ask questions like, for example, was, um, your grandmother passed on, um, when you're dreaming, you feel like you're floating, when you wake up, you feel like you're falling, um, you feel like you're on a journey. Um, you're not in a white place right now, but you will be later on. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. I have heard of these things before as someone's giving me a reading. I get it. Yeah. So that's okay. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. And it made sense to me because I was, me myself, I always question where I'm getting information from. Is it something I heard a few weeks ago or... Is it something I'm just picking up on? That's who I am. So then they go to this lady and he goes, the male host to this lady and say, okay, can you do me a reading on the show right now kind of thing? And she goes, no, I'm here to ask questions, not do the reading. And I thought, hmm, you open up yourself for bad um, comics. And now people kind of question this, why can't you do a reading from right now? That makes sense. Now, if someone was going to do that to me, there's three, three questions I would ask to this, say to this person. I would do a reading for you. Are you willing for everyone to know your personal stuff? If he says yes, I can do a reading for you. If he says, the other thing I would say to him, if I thought there was too much information, too much personal stuff to it, I'll say to him, I want, I'll do a reading for you, but off camera it's a bit personal. And if he says yes to it, that's okay. Or if I feel like it was in that time of day, I was in that mood, I'll say to him, look mate, I'd love to do it, but I'm not in that kind of mood, can we make it another day, maybe news to another person that I don't know, you don't tell me, you do that person. And if he says yes to all of them, that'd be fine. But if he says no to them, you know, there's a problem to it. But that's not about him. It's about someone saying if they are psychic, you see. So that's a really good one. And I thought it made me think because I had readers out there and some are pretty crappy, I have to admit. But there's some really good one. Like a lady who she called a mini reading. She gave me an information, I go, you're right on board. And the thing about this lady, and this is another story I will use for you too, she didn't ask for money. Not a fanatic, she's done this mini reading, she said what she said, and it's just on the board. And it's something that no one knew about it, I haven't talked to anyone about it. Yeah. So that's the thing. So if you know people like that, and I have seen those. And granted, if it was a case, and I have seen this with Lisa Williams, they said to her, do you feel Madison McCain is alive or dead? And she said, I'm not going to answer that. It's a case. I don't feel like it's the right place to answer. I fully agree with her. Certain things you don't put on YouTube or Facebook or, or media, certain things you don't do. Honestly, that I would answer, but if they went into 
into details like do you know who murdered Millicent? I wouldn't say anything related to that. I think that's too much information and if the wrong person gets the information you're dealing with a problem there. But if it does it to me and I have done a reading with her, well on her, I should say how she's not alive, my opinion is she's not alive. But I like I said, I did say I feel like she's not alive. On this other little details, it's not going to harm the case. But I wouldn't say um, Joy Clooney murdered her, put her in the river five metres away from the heart of the house. I wouldn't do that if I, if I felt, felt that. And if anyone knows who's called Junies, he's a guy of ER at the night show. So it's, it's, it's a cat, well, he's an actor, so it wouldn't have been him, I don't think he's been supposed to do this, but So that's the thing, so you kind of, if someone said something about a case, like who you think better about with this case, I wouldn't answer that question, honestly. Um, I think, well, I don't feel it's the right place to do it. Actually, I would do want to. It. So that's another thing. So it's if you're a media person, you're watching this. I hope this is useful because I actually wouldn't. If it something can be harmful, I wouldn't answer it on on media. If it's something harmful, like a host asks for reading, I'm okay with it. No. So that's the thing too. So you really need to think about it when it, if you want catch someone out, ask a question that's not going to harm anyone. So, yeah. It's like me going to, um, down to Santa Cross in Indy said to me, can you tell me a bit about Tim? I'm not going to do that with Indy. If Tim wants to know something, he can ask me. That's the same thing, yeah. So, yeah, so that's the thing. So, you, both ways, you kind of, and this is a good thing to help. Uh, I'm doing this YouTube for because I think it's useful how people think yeah so that's another thing so so if yeah if someone if someone said to you oh it's right, smaller tell me what the time is what would like without looking at your clock watch do it if you want it doesn't matter but if you don't it's kind of a it, you put a negative thing on yourself here so yeah so that's one thing. So if you can answer it, answer it. Or if you feel it's not the right time or something later to it, say it. And you maybe you can compromise with it. So her fake psychic, no matter what happens, will get called out. Trust me, they will get called out. But saying that, some people are just entertainment psychics. So they don't mind if they're wrong or right because it's just entertainment. Yeah, so having that and said, so that's another good thing I thought, and um, so that's another thing. Um, and I'll use this for yourself in as a reader. Yeah, if someone said, if someone came to, like, I'm gonna use my sister, she said to me one year, one day, I want to buy this game. I thought, yep, that's fine. Three weeks later, she comes. She's at home and said, Margaret, I found a DS game on the park, at the park. It's useful. I think there's some games with it, that kind of stuff. And I thought, mm, that's all right. So I'd be walk outside, walking down the street. And I said to Joe, her name's not Joe, I'm going to use Joe. And I said to Joe, so when did you buy your DS game? And she just looks at me. And they're not, everyone knows my family, I am a psychic. And if they don't know, they'll know now from other things. So, um, Joe just looks at me and says, how did you know? And I said to her, a few weeks ago you talked to me about it. You talked about that you want to buy a DS game. And she goes, hmm, okay. And she, we just left it. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, if you have someone, yeah, repeating things to you, what you do you will read someone's reading to you and sometimes it's good to send back and look at it and tape it like people say don't tape it i think taping is a good thing tape it and look at it and think 
<laughs> have I said anything related to this? Or have I talked to anyone about this? And if it's no, it's a good reading. If I went to my sister Jo, I did a reading for my sister Jo and said, you bought it, you're going to buy this game, it's blue, with, with Randall Croston. Yeah, she might look at it and go, oh, I talked to Jo Margaret about that four weeks ago. You know they're not much, I can't artist. Yeah, so yeah, and that's the thing, like, as a psychic, and I do this all the time, if I said that to Jo, no, where did I get that from? Look back on it and think, mm, it might be what we talked about a few weeks ago. So yeah, so yeah, that's a good thing. So always check up on yourself, and people are gonna question you with it anyway. So yeah, a good one with me. I do Facebook readings, so I used to do it, and I would um, do a reading for a person, send it off to the person, and then after all that. I'll look up on the Facebook on that person, okay, see if I've got some clues, if I've got it right or wrong. And that's really good because 90% of them I do get right, but there's one or two I don't get wrong. Right, 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 there's a typical guy out there. I did it all readings for him, sent it out to him. I looked up on Facebook with him. If, I mean, everything was wrong. So, yeah. It's a good way to do it. But if you did a reading for Facebook for someone and you, you're doing one for me and you look me up, then do a reading, I'll be questioning that. Yeah? But if you did the reading first, and people know from the burdens, like I did a reading for a lady and I won't get into it, but I said all these things to her and certain things did pop out in Facebook, but certain things didn't pop Okay, so that's where this came from. And then she filled in the gaps for me. And go, yeah, that makes sense now. So, yeah. So, if you, you know, like, and I do think that's another thing with people kind of trying to can't think you're a con artist. Some things are just there. Like, I remember one year I did a reading for someone and I didn't know they were famous. I did not know they were famous. And I put this thing out there for this person on Facebook, and then next minute they were on media, like yeah, like you um, newspaper and that. And go, oh, that's what I just picked up on, and I didn't know anything about this person. So yeah, so that's the thing. So some the um, skeptics people who think you're you kind of you kind of have to lean it sometimes that like you have to think. I would honestly say if it's half a percent of it, it's all on media or out there kind of thing, you're probably a kind of artist. But if you get about 50 to 75 percent on media, it's just how it is. If it's probably a lot more than that, I would question it. I would question it. And it's a, but even like you might do four things for that person and you might get three of them on media and the fourth one just sticks out because it might be a big thing you know so that's the thing and as a media I mean a psychic sorry I, I always question myself I always do um, where did I get that information from because some things you might forget and it might come back to you later on like I mean, this didn't quite happen that way, but it made me think, <laughs> it made me laugh, actually. I was at a job, and we're talking about getting cooking books that have pictures on it, because I work in disability, it's easier for people to read it. So I thought about it, and I've been looking around. Two years later, I didn't think about this till later. Oh, cooking books, this is what Claire was talking about. So I go in and said to Claire, I found this cooking book. And she goes... And how long ago was how long ago did we talk about this? And I said, two years ago. Oh gotcha now. So it wasn't a reading but it I um, forgot it was this was two years ago, not yesterday kind of thing. It's the same with psychic. If you know the same people around you, it's kinda of, some people do use that, yeah. Like I went to a place, I won't say where, 
but this person did a reading for me and I know they knew my sister. So yeah, it does happen. Yeah. The other thing is, um, yeah, the same thing, like um, knowing who you know and what you know kind of thing. Like I was, uh, and I know people say, you know, have a good, um, get a good reader, it's, it's what, who you know. Sometimes it doesn't all work. Um, I find sometimes people know people know people who are kind of others that you I might go like I have a friend who's into Reiki she might know someone who she probably does know someone who's psychic and she does readings and for me saying to her do you know anyone psychic she probably talked to her about me so yeah so sometimes it's not a good idea to have word of mouth um sometimes it is but not always um yeah so yeah, that's another good thing. Money, I know they say you put that there where um, money talks. No, um, I'm putting this out there because I know people who don't ask for money. It's once every girl lady I know, I went to Mind on Spirit. She does so many reading. She doesn't ask for money. She did one for me. She got it on the spot. She got it right. Um, she asked for no money at all. Um, it was just a mini meeting. Um, I know people out there who, I haven't been there, but I know people out there who spend thousands of dollars for a reading in the Connellas. Yeah, so money doesn't always talk um, in this situation. I will always go with your gut feeling. If you feel this person's worth fifteen hundred dollars an hour, you feel like they're worth it, go for it. If you feel they're not worth it and they're only worth twenty dollars an hour, go for it. So yeah, um she just had this thing in her head. More well, is better. And it's not better. The other thing looks can be very saving. Um I know that's another thing she puts out there that because you, you know, we're all free, which you have, you're a good reader. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, these people have internet. These people have Google. You know, they have YouTube. They have all this stuff. The same information to the person next door to them. They can look you up. Yeah. Um, so I would say no. If, you, if you're rich and... You might, I don't know, you might ask for $20 an hour, I don't know, or $1,500 an hour. Does not mean you're a good reader? Yeah? And the surprise of it is that you can live in a lower class place and you might get a whole heap of information on this person. You're a good reader, yeah? So it doesn't, look to be very even, and I'm going to use this as a sample. I watch Medium. Um, there's a lady, Alison, and she works for a guy, um, Mattel, I think that's how you say it. They work in the um, law form or police officer, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's another psychic, um, and she's at a bookshop giving her speech about how she pick her up on spirits. Um, she wrote reading a book. And Alison's in this bookshop, talking to this guy, asking him to be quiet, I'm trying to listen to this lady, and he's a sister, she doesn't know what she's talking about, yada, yada, yada. Uh, she's going to go to hell kind of thing. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, later on she found out uh, this guy is, is a spirit, yeah, he's this guy, he's, yeah, I can really relate to this, this is how I work. So that's okay, and some reason she works out this lady who's written this book, it's a con artist, but they don't know how to how they do it. And what the work that someone in their office is passing information on to this lady that she's using for this other guy who's doing this thing in court. So what they did at the end, he said, right, 
the uh, Conurella, this kind of thing, and he said, so he was having in court, this guy passed a whole heap of information on to this lady, that she passed it on to this lawyer, it was all phony, so she get caught out, yeah. And that's a good example of it, and it's where a lot of um, kind of do it. If you if you go to an expo, a psychic expo, it doesn't matter what a psychic expo. So some of them are really good. Some are, um, um, it's like psychics and some really good psychics, some really bad psychics, and you will know from what they say. Um, did they hear it around you around you that day? Oh, did they just pick it up? Like, especially if you on a train, and because I'm on a train a lot, and I can pick things up all the time. On a train, I might be thinking, talking to myself, and I do talk to myself a lot. Um, I might think, mm, what do I want tonight? For? I might have pizza. I might go to New Zealand next year. See how I go with my money. Yada yada yada. And I go to a psychic expo. They have a stand up um platform speaker go on. And he comes peeing on me and he said everything what I said but in a different way. Or she said he or she it doesn't have to be a he. So then you you walk away and think about it and think, that's exactly what I said on the train. So you know that person's the kind of artist, yeah. Now a perfect example is mentalist. I do use TV shows a lot. Um um Elizabeth said the car dealer with a speaker in her ear and Patrick, Patrick is in the office with a microphone being sick as a dog. He looks up these people up, oh he knows information about these people. He passes on to Elizabeth and she's pretending she does a reading for every person. That's not psychic, it's just information Patrick knows he's passing on to Elizabeth. So yeah, that's not psychic at all. Now let's run into as a reader or you're not doing a reading but you just want information that the person asking you a lot of questions like how many sisters do you have, how many brothers do you have, what did your mum work as, has your mum that day passed, that and so. And that's not a psychic or a reader. I had a lady did that to me and she said, oh, I'm just trying to be psychic. And I said, no, that's not psychic, that's just a bit nosy. Um, so, yeah, so you, and as a reader, you can ask one or two questions, but you don't ask it right through the whole reading. Yeah, so that's it. So you, could, you should be able to walk up to a person. Like, I remember a lady said, oh, I'm reading the book of Addison Deville. And the night before, I said, I remember I had a dream about her reading the book. So I said to her, hmm, were you reading it last night? And she, yeah. I said to her, well, I've been dreaming that you were reading that book. It was just one question. It wasn't, I mean, one question was just one. And she said, yes. So it was, no, well, it wasn't her. Maybe Joe below down the street. But that's how it should work. You shouldn't be able to, they shouldn't have to give you information. If you know it, you don't know. They might want to ask you a question like, um, how do you think um, I'll go with the test lottery tickets tonight? That's okay. You can ask that question, but you don't, well, what numbers did you do? What did you do this? And, oh, I'm having a, I'm, I'm, I like this guy. What do you think about this guy? The reader or the psychic. Don't have, shouldn't have to ask you a question like what's his name, what does he look like, what's his personality like. You don't have to. You should just know. As a psychic, you should just know it. Yeah? Yeah, so that's another thing. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, and that's how it happened with me with this reader. I did. I went to a reader and she's really good. And, um, and she, I said to her a question and she said, no to this question but she gave me other information related to the question so I knew the answer was wrong but the other information she gave me was right so she was on the board she just got one little thing wrong so yeah that's a good reader yeah and that's a good psychic yeah and 
Yeah, so, so that's the thing too. And if a, a person comes up to you and says, just starts to read to you, I will question that too. If a person comes to up to you and asks you, that's another story. And I, I respect that person. And and I had someone came to me once in Brisbane and they said, oh, can I do a reading for I'm picking up stuff like to you? And I said, yeah, whatever. So it wasn't a harmful thing. She asked me first. And some of it was right, some of it was wrong, but she asked. She didn't just came up to me and say, I'm do a reading for you. I'll question that too. Yeah, so yeah, because some of them, some psychics, not all psychics, they're kind of guiding you or something. It's like this, I just got this thing on YouTube a few minutes ago about um, some psychics who ask you to buy stuff off them. Yeah, because you want you're in a um, you're in a bad state of something. You you want to be in a bad mood. You just lost your boyfriend, whatever. And they say, ah, oh, use this this work. It's cost you fifty dollars, but work. That I question it. Perfect sample. I want to rare. I went to a shop. I want a diary. Thirty nine dollars. Now, for that's not bad. Lucky I went back to it and I was thinking of buying it, but I didn't get it because this person didn't get it. So I went to this other place and I was shopping in another, um, um, another town, $29, $10 difference. So now I think about going back to that shop and buying stuff. Yeah, so really think about it, yeah. So, yeah, but saying that too, they might. And a good psychic, and this is what I'm saying, I agree with this guy, where a good psychic, maybe say you came to me, your name's Joe, and Joe, you said to me, um, Mark, I want a reading from you, and I want to book it for Friday, say. And I'll turn to you and say, mm, you know, Joe, I've got this funny feeling, I'm not going to pick up on anything from you. Have you tried Joe's bookshop? That's a good reader. I reckon that's a good psychic because one, they've been honest with you. They're not picking anything up on you and they know they're not going to pick up on you. But they're not going to leave you in a lurch. They're passing on. So maybe try this person. They might be good for you. You know? And that's a good psychic. They don't think I'm the best. You can only choose me. Or another thing this guy said, if you... If there's people saying to you, come back, come back, come back, I would question that too. Like sometimes, the thing is with some psychics, um, I won't say all psychics, with some psychics, you might ask, and it's not, I wouldn't say, sorry, I wouldn't say it was the psychics, I would say the person. The person might ask you a common question, like, um, I have a boyfriend, we're always fighting, always fighting, so I say, and I said, no, I'm thinking to him, I say to you, I'm thinking of breaking up with him. What do you think? To me, you should know that answer. Not everyone do, but you should know this answer. Now you're fighting with this person all the time. You might be in a bullshit relationship. It should be obviously to you. It's not, if it's not, I was, and I have done, done this to someone, I said, Put yourself in someone else's shoes and think, what would you say to that person? That's another thing I would do to them. And then I would say to them, if it's $90 an hour and they pay for $90 an hour, and I know it's only five minutes, I'd say to them, look, I know you pay $90 an hour, but yes, you can see I only went five minutes, I give the rest of money to you because it's not fair for that person. A lot of psychics will keep that money. A lot of fake psychics will. They wouldn't care if it was five minutes. Or my, my thing with my readings, if I had a reading with you and we don't know how long we'll go for, I would say to them now, it's a dollar fifty per minute. So if it went for 20 minutes, I mean, for three hours, we know how much it is from $1.15 an hour. Some psychics won't do that. Some 
some fake site is going to use. They will say, well, no matter what, it's going to be $300 an hour. I don't care if it's five minutes or 10 minutes for a few. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go there at all. So that's another thing you need to look at, yeah? So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, um, if you're not sure about someone, I'll just stand back and watch them. Like, it doesn't matter if you know, you just, you're not, like, you know, you don't, it's hard to explain that. Like, say if I came in, I knew someone across here, and, and, um, one of the guys said, oh, what do you do on the weekend? I said, oh, I watch YouTube. And then they say, what do you watch about? And I said, um, psychic. And he said, but do you not really believe in them, do you? And I said, well, technically, I'm psychic. And I said to him, I have dreams. I pick up dreams. And, that. Um, and he said, say he believed me. But to say he didn't believe me. Um, I would, if I was him, I would just watch me. I said, if I said to him, um, no, I'm sure he won't mind this, I won't say his name, and I said to him, and he has it on his desk, and that's why I'm using this one, and I said to him, Joe, you like this cafe? And he goes, yeah, how do you know that? And I won't tell him, but you got any of this cafe collections on your desk, but I don't tell him this. That's a fake psychic. Yeah, and you would know it. But if I said to Joe, um, and it, this cafe wasn't on his steps, and it is, but it wasn't on his steps, and I would turn up to Joe and said, Joe, you know, I think you like this cafe, don't you? And he goes, yeah, how do you know? That's different, yeah? So that person could watch me and say, mm, where is she picking this up? Is she seeing what's around me or hearing things? Or is she actually picking it up, kind of thing. So, and I do that with other psychics and with myself. I, like when I, like my last class, my second last class, I went to a, a course on psychic. I, I think it was basic psychic. But to me, this person, it was more, she made it all up. Not to a point that she was, was about hurting people's feelings and that, but what's more, I don't know, it's more like, it was a phony thing, that, that stories that, yeah, you, you hear as a uh, um, Halloween or, you know, kids' stories kind of stuff. So, yeah, so I will listen to stuff like that. A perfect sample, I think I could be wrong here, but... I do want to run a store. I am looking into it for this year. And I think this lady at this shop is fighting what I would do and say. Because I said to her, look, you know, I'm happy to book pay for the room, you know. And she's making it really hard for me. Like, she's turning around saying, ah, oh, it's ten dollars per person and it's a small room this evening room is it's really small. Ten dollars per person, um, that's okay, I wasn't happy with it, but a good start point, I do that. Because uh, I have other little things I want to run, like little workshops. And she said, yeah, that's sad. Um, I want to do, she does a little psychic expo twice a year. I said to her, ah, oh, can I do that? I said, yeah, for the other head, that's fine. But now crystals. Okay, now crystals, they do. She just want to do her crystal because she does have a lot of crystals. Then I, some reason I didn't get into it. Um, I think it was just because I came back from the holidays. So I went to it on way to have a look at it and see what's there. Um, someone else I know there had a whole heap of crystals. And our shop had a whole heap of crystals. Like, hmm, there's something about this. So that's okay. Then I thought uh, I might go to the next expo. And she goes, ah, oh, you need um, insurance. I'm going, where did that come from? <laughs> One minute I can do all this, but now I need insurance for it. And then I lead into other stuff. And I thought, okay, she's, she's had an awful lot having issues with me. I don't know why, but she's had an issue with me. And 
and I really feel when I say everyone knows everyone that she knows I'm not a phony, I'm not a phony at all, but she just feels like what's the word um like threatened for me for some reason I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I haven't harmed anyone. Well I don't think I harmed anyone, so I don't know what it is. So that's another thing. So you need to look at things and is it worth it or isn't it worth it? And you know, you do end up free with her. this person I think she does it all for money. It's not a need it's not doing it for the right reason because you like this expo it's, you get stuff there it's not related to psych expo so yeah so that's okay so yeah so i'm doing uh, the floor to sleep and whatever so that's okay so that's something you need to look at so in so even if you're stuff in shops or places that you want to go to is it so yeah, so that's another thing. So that's it. the other thing is um, I kind of put this, I've kind of put this out there earlier, but I'll redo it. I did a reading for Indy for hundred percent hit Bendigo, like knowing your information, that kind of stuff. Like I mean, if you say so if you do a reading and you know you pick like say I say Indy, so you say I say mm, she works on the radio. 100% hits, you know it, but you're picking it up and you think, well, I know that, everyone knows that. So you just leave it, yeah? But if, say you're picking up someone's moving, moving to another stage, and I did this here, but I feel like it's 10 as well. This was my fourth process actually. She's going to work for channel 10. Um, but it just sticks everywhere around this off this office. So maybe I'm picking that up. But I thought I'll just put it out there if I'm wrong, but be honest with um with YouTube, I mean Facebook and just be honest with them this way I'm picking the channel sense up. So I did that and go, oh, I know this place got ten everywhere, but I'm picking up this 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 guy. But well, later she said Indy's gonna move and she's gonna um Work for Channel Ten. I was right, but I, I, in my head I thought mm, it's because I could see Channel Ten everywhere at the station. So yeah, think about where you get the information from as a psychic, and think mm, does this make sense? Do I should put it out there? Does, yeah, that kind of stuff because. I thought, mm, it's just because when I picked it up, I thought, I'm just seeing 10 everywhere at Santa Cross. Because Santa Cross used to be 10, now it's 9. So I thought, oh, it's just because I see Chinese hair everywhere. So really think about that, yeah? So that's the thing too, like, and if you're picking up Chinese 10, like my sample, if, if I pick up 10, why am I picking up 10? Because it might be something else too, or maybe because I know. I don't know, for who can't work, is it? I'm gonna go and work for Channel 10. Yeah, or I'm gonna work for Win, her Wind's part of Channel 10. So that's the kind of thing you have to think about. And with a reader or someone picking up something for them, where are they picking it from? Why? Why are you saying this kind of thing? Yeah, so that's a good thing. So, because a fake person won't give you answers, I'll find out way. They won't give you an answer. I'll let you work it out, okay. yeah, kind of thing. But if someone said, oh, I don't know, this came into my head, or oh, I just picked that up, I feel nervous around this situation, that kind of stuff, you know, it's kind of probably a psychic thing. Oh, I feel this thing, yeah, kind of thing. So that's another thing. So that's the thing. Think about where it's coming from, what information you got on. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have to admit, I thought I was going to go through this. Um, even with my dreams, I thought I'd pass this on to you where oh, I still questioning where they came from. Like, have I watched something or heard something? They're seizing. And this is the thing where a lot of people are good at. Because um, they help you kind of, have you watched something? Have you seen something? And it's a good thing with psychic too. Like, some people do say it's with me. They say, 
where did you get this from? Yeah, it's like, um, I mean, one day um, I'm at a, a job and I heard um, someone's leave, no, I'm going on a holiday and I said to them, I have heard this from someone, it's not a big thing. So I went to, into the job and I called Jo, I don't know if she wants me to say her name. So I said to Jo, I said, are you going on holiday, Jo? She's going, no. So yeah, it goes both ways. But then maybe I might, I, I miss her in the sense it was her mother who was going on holidays. So yeah, um, so that's the thing too. So you know where it's come from. And I actually said to her, oh, I heard your brother talking about it with our boss. So be honest with it, because like I said, if you are a fake, you are going to get caught out. Um, no matter, it might not happen tomorrow, but you will get caught out. Um, so I said, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of tips with this. Um, if you have a psychic and you kind of discern about that person, ask them a question or oh, just watch them. Um, ask them a question like, um, Margaret, um, where, where does this come from? Maybe you set a sample. They will honestly give you two answers. Um, one I will answer, I don't know, it just comes to me. I, I have no idea. I know to this day I have no idea where it comes from. Um, it just happens, yeah. Or to... They might say, uh, I meditate, she said, I meditate and it pops into my head. Or the universe is giving it to me, that's another good one, people say. Stuff like that, it's good. Um, if they ask you, if you ask them that question and they say, why do you want to know? There's probably a reason behind that. Um, like my perfect sense, I mean, I'm, I know they're not going to ask. Um, Say this to me, but I know they do it. Right? Um, when I was with some, was we in with some class for, for the first three weeks or three months, they'll be watching me, and that makes sense because one thing, well, two reasons one, there are a lot of canals, and Santa Claus is connected to um, it's called Cowan's Fair, and Cowan's Fair is very proven to me, can not see it to me, kind of stuff. So if I was a kind of artist, I'd probably be on that, <laughs> actually. So, but, and that's fair enough. And something, let's see what happened. Perfect example, I was in a kitchen cleaning. I thought I heard this young man say, mm, I want chocolate. I thought I heard him say it. Because when I hear things, it's just unnatural hearing. I see if spirits are natural seeing a per a flock of seeing a person. So I thought, mm, I, mm, I said, oh, I like chocolate. Uh, I visited mint chocolate in Kmart. It's really nice. It's cheap, two, two dollars now. You should try it, kind of thing. So he said, mm, okay. And he, he, he just left it. And I go into the areas where the offices are. And I start cleaning, and he comes. Well, his co worker came up to me and offered me a chocolate. And went, What's this about? Kind of thing. I didn't say it to them at that stage, but then I realised I read him without realising it. I think God was a simple thing because it was big, he would freak out. So he's the guy that doesn't want me the reading. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, sometimes watching them, listen to them, a psychic. You would know it. If it's if you have someone out there, you see, um, like the this okay face thing, you have it on the desk. That's not so. You see it. Everyone sees it, kind of thing. But if I see, say you like this cafe and it's not there, that's another thing. So, yeah. So, that's a tip for you. Just stand back and watch him, or you might have a question for him. So, ask him a question like, smart ass. Tell me what time it is. And if I can tell you it without looking at my watch, yeah, that that would prove it to you. Kind of things they say, no, I'll question that too. Yeah.
so yeah that's another thing um so that's the thing so it's the same about watching question them um i think if they ask too much questions from you as a psychic like say if someone asks you as a read a person a client that came to you and asks do a reading do I leave my husband or not kind of thing that she said that simple and they ask you why and isn't it they're not a good reader I just want you to say yeah no to it um they might ask you like I said if I hear that and you said that to me I'll put it back onto you and say what do you think kind of thing and that's a different thing in itself it's kind of guiding you what you think you should do not this is what I think you should, oh, this is what the spirits think you do. This is what, what do you think you should be doing? Or oh, put yourself in someone else's shoes, yeah. So that's another good psychic. Um, um, and not all psychics, you have to spend a lot of money to read for either. Saying that, all right? Um, and not all psychic look the part. As you can see, I, I just look normal. I don't have a hat. I don't do the spills and that. I actually don't know why I can do spills. I don't know why I can do witchcraft stuff myself. I never tried it. I might be able to do it. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so you don't have to look the part to be psychic. Okay? So, if someone said to me, if she said to you, you have to look the part, tell them to go away. It's not true. Yeah. Vice versa, don't dress up to be the look apart. If they're gonna have you, they're gonna have you, yeah. Um, the other thing is, if you are psychic and you always question things, before you say, yeah, it's this. Like a perfect example was Debbie um, Moore, I think she's a psych Australian psychic, and she's right, um, she's into feathers in it. Um, she said, if you're outside and you see a feather on the ground, it's obviously, but if you see a feather like, I don't know, um, in a book and you didn't put it there, question it, who has been around, did I put it in that years, years ago, that kind of stuff, question that kind of thing. So that's a good thing too, like, is it psychic, isn't it psychic kind of stuff, like, I don't believe in this, but he does, and I think it might be not a bad thing either. Where he, Mitchum Kuhn, I think he's another science psychic. He say you pick up a five cent piece, look kind of behind it, and you look at the date, and it recognise on that thing as if you, some kind of, a meaning to it. I don't believe in it, but he does. That works for him, so that's another thing. So you, and that's the thing with psychics too. Not all psychic works the same way. So if you, a, a um, person doesn't believe in psychic, that's because they want to be the same. Yeah. So, so that's another thing. So, yeah, science don't always mean science. Yeah, simple as that. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've got for you. I hope you enjoy. Um, it's a big one. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the time. It's close to forty-eight. Yeah, fifty-eight minutes. So it's a pretty big one. But I thought it's a good one because, as you can see, there's a lot of canals out there. And I reckon my own opinion. And this is just my own opinion. Like there's probably ten to twenty real psychics. Doesn't matter if you've been taught or not, it's, yeah, because you can be a taught psychic and be really good at it. You can be a fake psychic and you can go and teach it, yeah. But there's another eighty percent of them are just empty, like eighty percent of them, and forty percent of the eighty percent are just entertainment psychics. You see, like um. Yeah, not party psychic, um, the one on the X Factor, I don't know if you know, if you know that one, the one on the X Factor, um, things that's on TV, that kind of stuff, like, um, yeah, it's just that kind of stuff. Then you got the other 40%, they're just fake, just, 
And that's the sad bit about it all. I, 40% of people who say they're psychics aren't psychics. Um, and that's what put people down. And I would love to see again, them kind of people out. It's okay having entertainment psychics so, because they're just doing it for entertainment and they do say it for entertainment. And like some of them say this is for entertainment purposes only. So you know it, yeah. But there's some of them just doing it for the wrong reasons, yeah. Or they're trying to get you into something like a church or something. And I think, yeah, that's wrong. So this is one of the reasons I thought I'd put this out here. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, tell me what you think about it because it's a big thing out there. Um, and I don't think... I think every good psychic, probably every, there's two bad psychics and that's the scary part about it all. And they're the ones, and the bad psychics are not the ones who means real. So yeah, um, no matter why they're doing it, um, I don't think they don't, mean, they don't mean real for it. And yeah, so I'm hoping this is good. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn stuff from it. Um, yeah, put your thumbs up if you like it. Um, leave comments down below if you tell me what you think about it. Um, yeah, um, it gave me a good look, think about things too when I watched it. And I see, yeah, I'm not I've been psychic for the last 15 years, and I do think about things where I get it from, who did I hear this from, that kind of stuff too. Some things I just don't know where I'm getting it from. So, yeah, so if you like, from some, put comments down below if you want. Um, I will leave my details down there if you want to look at them. Um, yeah, have a good day and see you soon.